So I wanted to film a quick um, what's in my changing bag. Um, and this is for Freddie, who is 13 months old. Um, this is the um, bag, that the nappy bag that came with our Vinici travel set for the, the pram and, the, um, and all that stuff. So as you can see, uh, we've already been out to Tesco's this morning. So this is what we have in there. This is what I would normally take with us. So I have a munchkin straw sippy cup uh, with some water in it. Um, there's a dummy clip. Um, I got these off Amazon. They came as a pack of five. Um, so that bit attaches to the dummy and that bit clips onto them. Um, like a bib or something. Um, so that's there. We've got some rather gnarly looking um, Fred and Flo baby wipes. Just poking them back in there so they stay dry. Um, I quite like these. They're fairly cheap. We bought a job lot of them um, a few months ago. Um, I like to buy the big packs which everyone's are on offer. So we've got those in there. I'll go through that shortly. Um, have a pair of socks, um, a teething ring. Yes, he's 13 months, but he is also teething his back molars, so he does like to put this in his mouth and chew on it. Um, I have a bag just in case um, any of his clothes get completely ruined, um, whether that by food, mud water whatever um so i keep a couple of carrier bags in there um oh i've got a thermometer which is the um aldi one um that's an it's a on you can scan it on the head or this bit pops off um for an in the ear as well so we quite like that um obviously especially at the moment it's good to know what's going on with him and um, we've got another teething toy which is the Sophie the giraffe um, we quite like this um, I'll actually give it to him now so that he stays quiet um, I have these were all nicely folded I'll make sure they're folded when they go back in um, we've got a next baby vest because it's been quite warm weather um, another pair of socks um, and then a pair of shorts so that's just in case any of his clothes get completely ruined and he needs a full change um, got a hairbrush for him and then I have another this is a ziplock baggie um, it says newborn on it from when he was first born obviously um, and that um, used to, we took to the hospital when I had Freddie and then this little bag which we were given for um, like a welcome home present from my best friend so those are his initials FE and this is all bits and bobs so there's a, it's a fold out bib uh, these are one of the plastic backed ones I don't usually use them at home but it's quite quite nice to have one just in case there is another baggie because you never know so that could be for the bib um, got a bottle of Calpol, some teething gel, um, I've tried nearly every teething gel I can get my hands on, um, none really seem to work for us, but you know, better to have some on hand than not. There's a Nurofen uh, syringe which fits in the Calpol thing as well, some Savlon because you never know when you'll need it. There's a snuffle babe, uh, vapor rub, and some more teething gel. This is the Ambersol one. I think if any work for him, then this one is the most likely to work. But it's nice to have a couple of different options. So they all live in there. Usually the thermometer's in there as well. Um, and then we have his little red book for his immunizations and things. Um, and that always lives in there. Um, just because it makes sense 
Um, and then obviously you can tell I packed this when I first had him because there's breast pads in here as well uh, as some other lady products. Um, but that's all that we carry around with us on a daily basis. Um, sometimes if we're going out and it's, um, it's going to go over a time when he usually has milk, um, we will take a bottle as well. Um, we've just got the Tommy Tippy closer to nature ones with the size 3 teat. Um, other than that, um, sometimes we put snacks in there as well if we're going out over a snack time. Uh, but that is what's in there. I realise I haven't gone through this pouch. So inside this pouch uh, we have some nappy pants. These are the Tesco Fred and Flo. So we've got four nappy pants. Um, I have Dettol surface wipes just because some of the public toilets that you go in are pretty gross. Um, again I've got another one of these because this is the bag that I typically grab with the wipes and I will pop into the changing rooms with him. Um, so if there's any immediate kind of okay I need to put those in a bag because they're minging I will put them straight in there. Um, I have oh, another so that's a smaller sized Fred and Flo uh, nappy pants. And then I've got a four plus. So I've got a four or four plus and then four size five nappies. And then there's a little pot of his eczema cream because he does have eczema flare ups. Um, he's just got 50 50 cream um, but because the, the pots of it are absolutely massive. It's easier to transport if it's in a little one. Uh, so we've got that as well. Uh, just a couple of nappy bags for dirty nappies and then a little pot of pseudocrem that comes in the um, like tester packs that when you have a baby you get from hospital um, and that is all inside a Kath Kidston um, little pouch that came with our travel bag the fold up travel bag um, I got that for Christmas but it's actually really handy just to grab that and the wipes and take him into the uh, changing room so that is everything that we keep in our Vinici um, nappy bag. And like I said, Freddie is 13 months old, so we don't need any other formula or the, um, or the milk things uh, like we did when he was younger. Um, but I find it fascinating to see what everyone else carries in. So if you carry anything different or um, you've got any suggestions of what I should be carrying around with me uh, for Freddie, then please let me know.